Welcome to the Drake University App Camp. In this series of tutorials, you'll learn the fundamentals of computer science while developing several small apps that can be run on any Android, smartphone, or tablet. After completing these tutorials, you will have learned the necessary skills to develop your own unique app that you can publish on the Google Play Store. So let's get started. First, open up a web browser and go to the following URL www.drake.edu slash mathcs slash student resources slash summer app camp. This page is where you'll find all the instructions and links to various images and sound files you'll need for the tutorials. For now, click on the part one link and find the hello world section. First thing I want you to do is download the camplogo.jpg and dogbark to your dogpark.wave to your desktop. So right click or hold on the control key and click and save those links and save them down to your desktop. After you've done that, click on the App Inventor homepage link. This brings you to the App Inventor's homepage and I want you to next click on this orange create button in the upper right hand corner. This will prompt you to log in using a Google account. So after you've done this, this will bring you to the App Inventor start page. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new project. So click on new project and we'll call this Hello World. App Inventor doesn't allow you to put any spaces here, so we'll have a capital H and capital W, but no spaces in between those two words. Great. This will next launch you to the designer window. This is where we create the look and the feel for the app. The first thing I'm going to do, however, is have access to those media files that we uploaded to our desktop. So I'll create the upload file and browse and get that camp logo JPEG and click OK and also get that dogbark.wav file like so. Great. So now those two files are available to us in that media section. Next, take a look at this palette and there's lots of different options for the user interface. I'm going to take a button and drag that onto the screen. Notice that then comes instantly available as part of one of my components inside of the screen one. The first thing I want to do is rename that button. Button one's not a bad name, but it's not very descriptive. I'm gonna call this dog button for a reason why you'll see in a, in a second. Great, and so then also notice that there's lots of properties that are available. I could change the background color, I could change the font size. You can play with those if you want to. You can see how that changes things instantly. Um, what I'm going to do here is affect the, the image. I'm going to click on the image and select camplogo.jpg. So notice that becomes now the face of my button, that, that camp logo. I'm also not interested in having any text on this particular button. So on that text field, I'm going to delete that. Good. The other thing I want to do for this app is make it a sound. So whenever I press that button, I want a sound to play. So under the media section here, under the media drawer, I'm going to click on sound and drag that onto the app. Notice now I can see a non-visible component, sound one here. Also that's available under my components here as well. I'm going to rename that. Sound one isn't the worst name, but I'm going to call this uh, dog bark sound like so. Great. For the source, I want that to be dogbark.wave. Okay, great. So now the, essentially the look and the feel for our app is pretty well set. The next thing I want to do is connect to a particular device. So if you're taking this tutorial as part of a camp, there'll be some instructions about how you do, though, do that. If you're taking this and just kind of doing it at home, take a look at this uh, main page and there's a link here for information about how to get this app on a particular device. So in my case, I'm going to use an emulator. So I'm going to start the emulator to be launched. Um, and while that's launching, I'll come back to the next section and tell you more about what to do next. Okay, great. So you should have something that looks like this, either on your phone or on an emulated screen like I have here. Um, the next thing we need to do is then click on this blocks button. This is going to take us to the blocks window and this is where we're going to actually implement some of the code or tell what should happen with the app. Um, the first thing we want to do is notice that you know, we've got the components from our screen 
available to us here. And I can switch back to the designer window or back to the blocks window as much as I want to. So the, I'm gonna click on the dog button component. There's lots of different options that are available to me here. I want to draw your attention to when dog button dot click. So drag this out and put that available here. This is an event handler. So when that dog button is going to be pressed, the code that we put inside of here will be executed. And when that dog button is pressed, I want that dog bark sound to actually play. So click on the dog bark sound and we'll drag out this call dog bark sound dot play. And we'll just put that together. Notice it kind of clicks together like a puzzle. And for this simple example, that's all we need to do. If we go back to our phone, now when we press the button, we get the dog bark sound played. So that's it. It's, um, so, so far you've learned the basic App Inventor interface, how to use the event handler with a button press and the basics of sound. It's a pretty simple app, but you've already mastered some of the really important concepts and are well on your way to learning how to develop your own app.